You know, I've noticed that sometimes it's okay to, to play the fool. If it means... Preserving your peace. You know, nowadays, most pieces, you cannot trade it with anything. And you get to a place where there's different scenarios. Sometimes it is what it is. You can look at scenarios and say, this one will not change, either the person or the situation. Others you can, you know, for lack of a better word, negotiate. So recently, for example, two different scenarios. Um, there's a time I had to defend something or some work that was part of an organization, and I had receipts. Like, this is why we need to shift how we're doing ABCD. And it was taken into consideration, and it's something that will work out well. Because when you have to, when there's something that is truth and has potential to shift based on a fact or based on an experience, you can negotiate. You can negotiate because you're standing up for you, you're standing up for the right thing. Others, you're like, this one, it can't change. It's a situation and a scenario where the person or the situation is what it is. It's permanent. It's permanent. So then how do you approach that? Again, I was in another scenario where I knew going into this space was going to be, um, I don't want to say difficult, but yeah, in a, in a way, it was an unusual setup that meant I would have to really figure out because this situation is what it is. It was triggering. It was triggering. It had its triggers. I feel like I workshopped myself out of it being fully triggering. Even though, you know, when you're in it, there are triggers that you don't foresee. But they happen, you cope, you move, right? Yeah. So I said, this situation is what it is, Janet. It's permanent. It is what it is. You going in there means you have to really have adjust. a mindset. You have to adjust everything in your mind because it's a situation that you can't change. Um, and there's so many things in life you can't change. There's so many situations or and control. people you can't control. And we like controlling things most. <laughs> and I think as I've navigated life lately, things that are out of my control most let me play a fool. If somebody wants to be like, oh, you should have, I'm like, no, no, I chose peace. <laughs> yes. And this comes, especially when people around you try to insinuate um, or address your challenges in their own perspective. Oh my gosh. I don't think you realize how much you've summed it up because a lot of the reason I was able to navigate that situation is because I'm the one who processed it as me. Yes. I didn't share it with anybody. I didn't share how I was feeling. I had that AGM that we always talk about with myself. I brought God in the mix. I'm like, let's have a meeting. You did a stock taking. I did a stock taking because part of it, you can't change this. Maybe you can change this narrative but this situation as it is, you can't change it. So you going in there, you can't go in there trying to change things. Go in there knowing it's what it is. How are you approaching it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, build the peace from within. I really like that. And you've said that before. Yes. I build really build like that. Peace from within, yeah. I don't know why that thing is so underrated. People need to know how you show up is how you've shown up outside is how you've shown up for yourself yes. inside. And that's how you spread that energy. Hmm. If you build the peace within... The energy that is coming from you is positive. Is all, but I, so yeah. even if the other is negative, you'll not be affected. Like you'll shield yourself. You will shield yourself. I really like that. You And it always throws people off. Yes. Because just like you're in that scenario, I was in a scenario where somebody, you can tell they're intentionally trying to make the situation difficult. And I genuinely wasn't bothered because it is what it is. Yeah. Um, to a point where they apologized through somebody else. Yeah. Because, because they wondered, why isn't she feeling triggered? I'm like, son, I've chosen peace. <laughs> and also, I have this new thing that I tell myself, because I wasn't always like this, Moss. I was reactive. Yeah, it's a, it's a process. It's a process, and I was projecting. And becoming aware. The moment you know your weak points, you're you able start to manage working them. Them. And it doesn't mean you won't always... Them. Of course, I'll make mistakes and have times when I'm triggered and upset and go all off, but it's it will be rare. The collection and yeah. remorse, remorse are part of, yes, are part really of, and like taking that. responsibility. I really like, people don't do Take that. responsibility. <laughs> and that's when I, then I tell them, it's all good. Yeah. You don't want to take responsibility? Let me play the fool. Yeah. Because also you're not going to change what you know. Because as long as somebody is not doing the internal work, mm. you also can't force them. You can suggest it. You can tell them, hey, how about next time you call yourself to a meeting? 
But because you don't know where they're at and if they're ready to listen, you're right. You have to change. You have to change how you approach and how you respond to situations. I was reactive sometimes. I was projecting. And then I realized to your point, hey, Janet, it doesn't mean you won't do this every so often. It just means you can do it less. You can manage your triggers better. You can project less. And you can see it coming. And you can see it coming because you know what your triggers are. And so I find like it has really helped me navigate rooms so much easier. Also, it's when you know most I'm predisposed to anxiety. Mm. So if I put myself in a situation when I know that room may, may trigger my anxiety, yes. what do I do? So sometimes I'll say, let me step out for a few minutes. Mm. I'm not going to go into the storm. By the way, with storms, you do actually Even have to go. Even before you get in, insulate yourself. Have a drug. Ready. You know what? I, I learned about what a drug is the other day. I watched this movie about the youngest woman to sail around the world. And she was 16. And I learned about all these storm technologies and what I watched it with my sons. Yeah. It's a good movie. And this, a drogue is supposed to slow you down in the middle of a storm. Yeah. So I said, what is your drogue, guys? Play Who is your drogue? <laughs> I love... <laughs> Moss is like, the drogue is you play the fool. Because it slows you down from being reactive. Yeah. Um, and I also give it a day. I realize that sometimes if today somebody said something where I want to react, I give it a day. So by the time I'm coming back to you with what I have in mind, you are logic. I'm logical. I've thought it through. I'm not just going to be like, I'll be like, how you made me feel. Give it a day. Give it a day. Moss, give it, give it a day. <laughs>